Hey everyone, it's Chris and in this really short video, I'm going to show you how to create login and log off buttons for your WordPress website. Okay, so again, real quick video here. We are in the back end of one of my sites right here. Um, and so let's say this is our site and we want to add in, in this case here, we want to add in some login and logout links into the footer of our website. So here is the easy way to do it. The other thing we like to do is we actually like to add in login and logout links in our sidebar. Again, it is almost all the same on how we do it. So first of all, let's get the quote code unquote that you need to put in. And it's not really code, it's just a little bit of uh, HTML that tells the system where to go. And I'm gonna type it out for you right here. So first of all, we're gonna do front slash wp-admin I'm sorry, let's take that back here, wp-login.php, and this is where we start. If we just do this, it should take us to the login, but if we add in a question mark, action equals logout, this will give us what we want to log us out of the system. Now the great thing is, is this is all you need, no matter what your URL is, because what the system will do is it will look for this and it will add in your www.yourwebsite.com in front of it, whether you're doing a regular site or a subdomain.yourwebsite.com. It's what we call a relative link. So now that we have here, there's a very simple way. First of all, we're gonna do it in the menu. And the way to do that is to come into appearances, menu, and I'm going to create a new menu and we're going to call that footer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use custom links. All right. And the first custom link here, we're going to be using this same code here, which we can copy and paste. log out, we're gonna add that to the menu. And again, the same thing again, it should work. We'll make sure it does. Log in. And we're gonna push this to the footer menu. And we're going to save. So let's take a look at the site here. And here are our login and login buttons. So if we take the login, it takes us back to where we need to go. And if we want to log out, it will actually log us out as well. So this is the easiest way to put it into your menu if for some reason you want one or the other. Now the other thing we want to do is we actually want to put it into this right here. And it's maybe not as easy depending on what theme you're using. So in that case here, we're gonna to go to widgets and we wanna put it into our sidebar. So one of the easiest ways, there's two ways to do this. You can either do, uh, let's say if you have a, a navigation menu and we wanna select the footer. Right, and there's your logout or login buttons. But let's say we need to add this in somewhere on the site. We don't have this navigation menu. So I'm gonna delete that. And what we can do is we can come into text. And we wanna make sure we're in the text area here. And this is how we're gonna do it a href, right? This is just simple HTML. It's really simple, but pay attention because if you miss one little thing, it will not work. So again, a href equals quote wp dash login dot php question mark action equals logout we're going to close the parentheses and we're going to close this we're going to add in what we want it to say and then we're going to close out 
this right here. Now, what I'm going to do is let's save it here. And you can take a look. And there's our logout that we have here, right? And if we if we look down here when we're when we're hovering over it, you can see where it is. Now, I'm going to I'm going to show you what will happen actually if you forget one of these here. And I'll do it here, which is Actually, you know what? We'll make it even easier. And I did this once before, so I just want to show you what happens here. If you forget to put it in that little quote there, we refresh this. You can see it just shows the login. If you look at the bottom left there, it's kind of all messed up. But if you add back in the quote, save it, and refresh, now we have our login and log out. So if you get into this and something's not working, most likely you have a little bit of a syntax error. It's usually missing a, a, an equal sign or a quote or a slash. So what I'll do is in the in the show notes or in the in the notes to the video here i will leave these that you can copy it will work for any it should work for any wordpress site as long as it's a self-hosted wordpress site so go ahead and check it out so again really quick just in case you want to create a uh, a login or log out for your site this is the way to do it and uh i'll leave it at that for the day hopefully you get a lot out of this i'll see you in the next video